I am going to service this shock. This is the new style uh, shock off of a 2018 uh, 350 XCF. So it's new style reservoir and all that stuff. So um, yeah, I'll go over how we do that. Let's start by taking the thing apart. I like to get that ring all the way out of the way. Makes this easier to deal with. Also, I always spray a little bit of lube on the threads. So one of the things I'm doing on this shock is I'm going to be replacing this bolt with one that has a uh, um, that has a, a rubber gasket in it, so I can use a needle to fill it up with nitrogen. Because as it is, uh, you have to have a really super special tool that honestly just doesn't work that well. <laughs> I've used one before, and it was just a giant pain in the butt. So. Um, for like five bucks in a little bolt, it's pretty sweet. Comes with a new bolt, gasket, and everything, and then like I said, it has a hole in it and a little rubber gasket, and so you can use a nitrogen needle to fill it. So that is going to be awesome and a really nice upgrade, so that you don't have to use super duper fancy expensive tools. So one of the keys to being able to get this apart is cleaning, come on, is getting all that cleaned out so that the piston can slide past it. So I'll get in there, then we'll fire some air down in there. pretty good so that's good now we gotta do a little cleaning um and we'll get a new seal on it and we'll go back together all right now i gotta take the piston and all the valving off which you want to be real careful about if you don't know how it all goes back together which most of us don't um i can take shocks apart put them back together all day long but i really don't understand all the shimmy shims that's why I use guys like Brady Metter at TBT Racing um, for my valving. Uh, so I'm real careful about all this stuff. Take a screwdriver, something small, run that like that. That stays all nice and happy, just like it's supposed to be. Put that down the tray, away from things so I don't mess it up. Keep an eye on how all this stuff goes together. So, this little rubber guy is always a bit of a fight to get out of there, but it's okay. Like, you can't really hurt it, right? So, you just dig in there, get that out. That lets the spring come out on this style. It would actually come off of this. It just takes a bunch of force. So, we're going to leave it right where it is. Make sure everything's good. This is our seal we're going to replace. So, we pop that out. There we go. Our shock box. There's our little bolt uh, that's got the rubber gasket in it. Coming here to our 18 millimeter shock seals. Now we're going to clean this thing really good. I'll put my gloves on. I keep forgetting. So, brake cleaner. careful because there is like a washer kind of shim thing down in there don't lose that uh, when you get it off you want to take a good look at this bushing that's in here um, this one looks great um, but 
replace it if you need be. I stock them. Um, it's one of those things not a lot of people stock, but we keep them here because they wear out and they're inexpensive to have. So, new seal. Boom, just drops in like that. Super simple. Clean this guy up. And drop this back in and you get a ticket put that in first and then we're gonna push this rubber guy into its home and it's kind of a fight with the spring in the way but you know just take your time now I'm gonna take some grease get that up in there get it on the seal and that bushing just lube everything up as it goes together so you don't cut anything up. Ow. Gotta clean this really good. Alright, so with this shaft, just like uh, fork um, fork tubes, put a cross hatch on it. A lot of guys call this a micro finish. I call it a cross hatch, whatever you want to call it. Too many people charge a bunch extra for the oh I'm gonna micro polish it I just micro finished your shock shaft it took I don't know you could look at the camera of like 10 seconds but what that does is it puts a little tiny cross hatch in the the chrome and that helps it hold a very thin film of oil so the thing slides even smoother than it did um, stock so I'm actually gonna go over that one more time so I'll have a hold of 20 seconds in it Look how shiny and pretty that is I like it that's what I'm talking about got a counter clicks I didn't do it before I took it apart doesn't matter on this you know what he might have taken that all the way out for me because right now that was like a 22 which is basically all of them <laughs> I'll have to ask him this is a friend of mine uh, actually Used to be a mechanic for me years ago. Reassemble. There we go. Valving. Since we have it on our screwdriver, we just lower it back into place. I like to brake clean this, even though this one has a nut with a locking, like a locking nut on it. Still like to put a little bit of Loctite on it. Belt and suspenders, people. Belt and suspenders. Highland Cycles, it's Morgan. More work. That guy has got a YZ450 that's locking up on him. So you guys get to see that too. Take a YZ450 apart and maybe even do a bottom end. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, it's going to be exciting. So a little bit of red Loctite that on there there we go because of the Loctite we don't have to go crazy on the tightening also it does have a lock nut on it so that makes that a lot easier and better uh, now I'm going to clean the shock body up really good um, and then we'll reassemble I'll show you how to bleed it all right, so got this all cleaned up. Chuck her up here. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit different method from what I showed you before, uh, which will still involve some of the other method. There we go. Okay, so everything's clean. Shaft is ready to go back in. I'm going to take some shock oil maximum three weight fill it up not all the way but pretty far now take our shaft and we're going to ease it down in to the oil Mm 
then I like to just top it off again not all the way push her down hear that piston moving here personally I would like to be putting a bladder on this but this guy is not as big a fan pump this up and down and bubbles are coming out let me see if I can show you guys you can actually hear it you guys probably can't hear it but There's some bubbles, and that's what we're looking for. Looking to get those out. And you just want to do all this very slowly. Now I've gotten a bunch of the air bubbles out, but there's still probably quite a few more in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the seal head down in there. Then we're going to flip it up, and we're going to finish bleeding it through the compression stack. Now, flip her over. Point four millimeter now pick that up now we can push there's a bunch of bubbles coming out right there and you can just add a little bit and again, it's a messy deal, so get over that. So as you push up and you're getting ready to pull back down, if you go too fast, too far, it'll suck air in. So you don't want that, obviously. So I just, some of you guys can see this down here, my hand on here and just do it nice and easy. And if you take your time, you don't really have to like push it all the way up, right? Because the bubbles are going to work their way up. You just kind of ease it back and forth. And honestly, it's a good idea to just let the thing sit here and let those bubbles work their way up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drink a cup of coffee, take my dog out, throw the Frisbee floor, come back, do this a little bit more, and we should be good to go. All right, so we got all the air out <clears throat> by uh, time and just pumping that thing up nice and easy. Um, got all the air bubbles out. We set the piston height at 10 millimeters down. Uh, so that's set right now. And now we're going to install this guy. So we got a nitrogen needle. And I like to just poke it through, make sure everything is clear. Let's get this thing. So we got everything set. We got our nitrogen needle. We're going to put it into our gauge here. Set at 150. Come in here. There we go. Now we're going to check it. Make sure there's no air in there, because if there is, we got time right now. We can bleed it again if we need to. I like it. it seems good. So now, I'm just going to put the spring back on it, get ready to rock and roll. Make sure you definitely subscribe to the channel, and make sure, mostly, that you get out and spread the gospel of two wheels, and please, 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 find some time to ride. Your dirt bikes! <laughs>